it's your girl shirley and i'm back with another video before i get started i definitely just want to say thank you lord for just everything god that you're doing god for just all of us lord in the name of jesus i also want to say thank you yes thank you thank you for continuing to support this channel thank you for the likes the comment the shares subscribing thank you for turning on a notification bell so you know when i release a new video like thank you guys thank you for just everything that you do so today guys i want to talk to you guys briefly about you know what's coming up which is thanksgiving as well as talk to you guys about seasonal depression because seasonal depression is real and you know when we think about thanksgiving we think about the food and family and gathering together and friends and so you know right below what are some things that you're thankful for i know for me i'm definitely thankful for my life i'm thankful that god continues to give me grace and mercy allow me to see another day i'm thankful for food clothes shelter like all that kind of stuff okay and I'm just thankful also for just everything God is doing in each and every last one of you all's life. And to take a moment to just say, you know, make sure that you're mindful of those who may not be as blessed as you are. And also mindful of seasonal depression because people do have seasonal depression where they just feel down. They feel really sad. And this is a time of year where the number increase with those who, you know, have those type of episodes. So, I just wanted you to be aware of that. So, below, I have put different links to, you know, information that I have found that can help you to be aware of the symptoms and different things to look out for. Whether if it's you or somebody you know. Because sometimes we deal with um, seasonal depression and we don't even know it. Like, for real. Like, we don't even have any type of idea. So, I just want you guys to be aware of that. And to make sure that you love on somebody. Like, love on people this Thanksgiving. You know, share. Like, show the love. There's so many people who's out there who do not have food clothes shelter like all that kind of stuff so make sure like my brother make sure my sister that you for real are showing the love of christ showing the love of christ and sharing with your brothers and sisters who's out in the street and sharing with them not only with food you know give them some wisdom give them some clothes you know different things like that you know scarves socks toothpaste toothbrush you know hats just all that kind of stuff because it's getting cold and if you want to give them food make sure you get food that they can carry and can be able to open and use you know like canned goods if you're going to give a canned good make sure you have one with a pop top that they can you know open because for real like we never know what the future entails for any of us you know, we could be here today to, and tomorrow be out there on the street, like, for real. And so, I really just want you guys to just show the love of Christ and help your brothers and sisters. Show the love through the things that you do this Thanksgiving. And, you know, continue to be blessed. Continue to be blessed. And have compassion and empathy for those who have a hard time doing this year. I know for me this year, this is going to be a trying year for Thanksgiving because it's the first Thanksgiving in my entire life that I won't be with my daddy. My daddy will not be there to taste my food and, you know, walk behind me and just be who he is. So he will not be there this year because he transitioned earlier this year, a few months back. So definitely you know just be mindful of that for some of us this is a happy time but for some of us this is a sad time so please just show love and you know show christ through the way that, that you love on your brothers and your sisters you know that's something that i really try to do you know show the love of christ by the way i live my life and what i do for others you know as well as myself and like I said earlier, I'm very thankful for Christ. I'm thankful that, 
God sacrificed his only begotten son so that we can have everlasting life. And who is his son? His son is Jesus Christ. That's right, Jesus Christ. And if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you the opportunity to do so. So the way that you do this is you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And a simpler way to do that is just say, Lord Jesus, I need you. I'm thankful for what you have done for me. And God, I realize for real, I need you. So that's what you're doing when you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And you believe in your heart that God has risen him for the dead. And guess what? You are saved. Just that simple. It's just a confession and acceptance. That's it. But as I always say, don't just get saved. Make sure you also get connected. Get connected to a church which is talking about who God the Father is, who God the Son is, who God the Holy Spirit who dwells in each and every last one of us as Christians. And who are we? Like, who are you? Who am I? Who are we according to God? Like, for real, who are we? I mean, for real, just, just think about it. Who are we? And in order for us to learn that, we have to get connected to a church where we can grow and not understand it. Because for real, sometimes we can read the word and not understand exactly what it's saying. <laughs> you know, I know for myself, there's been times, you know, where I have read the text and I did not get it. You know, I didn't understand the text in a way that it was meant to be understood. I understood it based on my knowledge. But that's the thing. As we grow, we get more knowledge and more understanding. And it helps us to understand the text. It helps us to understand how we have to go back to the original language. To understand what is actually being said and why it's being said in this text, you know. So that's why it's so important to get connected. And also, if you're on here and you just want to rededicate your life to Christ, I definitely want to give you the opportunity to do so. So all you have to do is repent for your sin. The way that you do that is say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me, God, for whatever your for may be. Whether it's because you've been disobedient or because of the fact you've just been doing some stuff you know you shouldn't have been doing or whatever. Whatever your for is, like, talk to God. One thing about God is... God continue to give us grace and mercy. We don't know how long that grace and mercy will be. But the fact that you're here and you have another opportunity. He's giving you grace and he's giving you mercy. And I just want to share this. Like this Sunday we had this awesome wonderful man of God. And his name is Bishop Thomas. He came to preach um, for the second part of our church anniversary. And one thing that he said that I really love was, you know, when we sin. It don't separate us from God. It separates us from the fellowship of God. So that's why it's so important, you know, to re repent. Because for real, God want a fellowship with us. He want a relationship with us. He want a relationship with us. And another thing he kept saying was, God never leave us. We leave God, but God don't leave us. So my sister, my brother, if you on here today and, you know, you just rededicated your life to Christ, forgive yourself too. Forgive yourself because God has already forgiven you and moved forward because God created you. <laughs> yes, he created you for a purpose beyond what you can see. And my brother, my sister, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Know that you are loved. Jesus love you. God love you. The Holy Spirit love you. And I love you too. <laughs> Okay, like for real, just be encouraged and continue to show the love of Christ through the way that we live our life. Continue to show the love of Christ through how we love on our brothers and our sisters and how we treat other people who ain't even our brothers and sisters, like for real. Continue to show the love. All right, guys, until next time, this is your girl, Shirley. I love you. I'm out.